welcome to the Auburn Devil Days post game show brought to you by Cayuga Community College. I'm Claudia Belafato, joined by Jack McMullen. Jack, slow and steady wins the race. Seven to four win for the Auburn Devil Days against the West Virginia Black Bears. The first game in a seven game series. I said six in the pregame, but I forgot about our doubleheader this week. So seven game series. Overall, a little pitcher's duel to start, but then things got picked up. Yeah, and Rafael Gomez was tonight's starter for Auburn, and he threw really well. He got into the fifth pretty much unscathed. There was a solo home run by Brett Kinneman, who's the center fielder for West Virginia tonight, and that was his shot. But other than that, the bats were really quiet against Rafael Gomez. He did run into some trouble in that three-run top of the fifth inning, but after that, Auburn started to really pick up the pace. And, you know, it was all highlighted by the bottom of the eighth inning when they tied on an Albert Carrillo solo home run and then some. Jose Sanchez finished it, Onyx Vega added to it, and then Fausto Seguro was on for the ninth, and he was great. So overall, it was a great performance when they needed it from Auburn. Absolutely. Eric Senior is a name I want to mention. He got his first pro home run uh, to get the double days on the board and tie it in the bottom of the third. Another name that we talked a lot about uh, in pregame was Jake Alou. This guy had a pretty good game as we expected. He was your choice uh, MVP for the game. Two hits in three straight games and a six game hitting streak. Do you expect to see just more of this from this guy? Well, first of all, thank you to Jake Alou because my guy just <laughs> came through and he makes me look like the guru that you called me even though there's nowhere, I'm nowhere close to a guru. <laughs> well, but you got this right, so. <laughs> well, Jake Alou is just swinging a bat that's really impossible to ignore and this guy's on fire right now. You mentioned the six game hit streak and the three game multi hit streak. This guy was not a, a top five round pick of the Nats. He was selected in the 20s in terms of rounds in this year's MLB draft. So he's going to need to carve a career out of, like he needs to find a diamond in the rough pretty much. And he's been a diamond so far. Granted, it's really, really early into his professional career, but he's been good. Absolutely. We mentioned Carrillo. Uh, I actually got a chance to sit down and talk with him. Went two for four. Looked pretty strong throughout the game, though. He really did. Uh, and Albert Carrillo, he tied it when things mattered. He had an RBI single earlier in the game, but then in the bottom of the eighth inning, he went big fly on a fastball up and in, and I wasn't necessarily expecting that from Albert Carrillo. Maybe he wasn't expecting, but you got answers. I do. I got a chance to sit down with him. Let's see what he had to say. What's up, guys, here with Albert Carrillo. First of all, congrats on the win. You were gone for three games. You didn't see any of the field for three games. And then you come out with a multi-hit off the bat. What was the mindset you had going into today's game? I mean, I came to the park ready. Um, my first two at-bats, I was just ready seeing fast one I did. And I was putting some good twings at, at the ball. And I kind of hit it to a couple of guys, you know, first two at-bats. But I mean, I wasn't going to change anything. So I kept the same mentality and I mean, finished off strong. And for both teams, it was a bit of a slow start. You went two for four, had an RBI single in the six. How did it feel to finally get things rolling? I mean, it was great. I mean, I was just trying to do my part to help the team, you know, just tie the game and hopefully just win. And you had a solo homer in the bottom of the eighth to tie it up. Was that the pitch you were looking for? I mean, I, I was sitting fastball the whole time. I had two strikes, so I got to choke up. and. I mean, I saw his breaking ball and it wasn't that good, so I knew that his breaking ball wasn't going to beat me. So, I mean, I was just looking for fast one. Unfortunately, I got it and I had a pretty good swing on it. <laughs> and you did at that uh, second game of the series tomorrow. How do you feel in terms of being confident in your team? I mean, with uh, that performance, it's great. So I hope I keep it going, you know? Absolutely. Best of luck. Albert Carrillo, Thank guys. You. Thanks. Thank you. Great game for Carrillo. Excited to see uh, what happens tomorrow in the second game of the seven game series against West Virginia Black Bears. You know where to find us. We're gonna be right back here tomorrow on fingerlegs1.com. I'm Claudia Balafato. He's Jack McMullen. Thanks for watching guys.